In this lesson, we'll learn how to use our armature to create the anatomy of a typical male manga teen. Okay, so in the last lesson we drew our armature and we're ready to go ahead and begin filling in some anatomy around that here. Now, I went ahead and drew our character's head in between lessons here, and you can see it here. It sits on this six heads layer right here. We're going to work on top of that layer using our armature as a reference. So let me just go ahead and alt-drag this fill layer up above the armature layer, and I'll just clip it to that as well. So the armature's not getting in our way here. Now, at this point, I'll go ahead and zoom in, and let me go ahead and I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and start with our character's neck here. Now, I, I've kind of intentionally left his hair incomplete here because we're going to have the neck to sort of think about that's going to block that. So, when thinking about the width of a male's neck, you have to understand that when it comes to simplifying this and even stylizing a little, uh, stylizing it a little bit in the manga style, the male neck is going to be thicker than the female's neck. So, um, if we come over here, let's go ahead and just kind of start with a line there and a line there. We'll just kind of work off that for right now. That should work fine. Now at this point, we've got this quarter of an inch of neck to deal with here. So this is an area where the neck is typically going to slope down because you have these neck muscles um, right here. They're going to slope down towards the shoulders. Now, uh, in looking at my armature here, I'm going to actually be using this as, again, just a point of reference. So my shoulders aren't going to sit right on top of this corner right here. I'm going to kind of just draw around the shapes that I have. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of draw this, this muscle shape for our shoulder here. Now, again, this is going to depend entirely on how, uh, how muscular you want your character to be. And I think about a teenage male character, and you know while they are still going to have some definition of their muscles, they may not have quite a bit. So um, we may want to tone it down a little bit. Oh, really, ultimately, it's up to you. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with something like that. Now going to just kind of work my way down his arm and his left side here. So uh, let's go ahead and think about kind of just following this. And essentially what we're establishing here is a silhouette of our character. So uh, that shoulder muscle is going to come down and curve a little bit. Now, when we think about what's going on here, we need to think about what the actual muscles under the skin look like because the shape of these muscles are what actually create our silhouette. So I would highly recommend just pulling up some um, male muscle reference, any kind of medical drawing you find online, just to show you the placement of the actual muscles in a human body. That way you can see how those muscles work together to create the silhouette of, for example, in this case, an arm. So um, if in this case, let's say we have a bicep or something like that right here. We have our shoulder muscle sort of like that. And then we're going to have this tricep back here that's actually going to have a little bit of a curve to it as well. So I'm going to kind of curve that sort of like so, working my way down here towards the elbow. Now naturally we're going to get a little narrower here at the joint. So I'm going to just kind of feather this a little bit and bring the inside of the bicep up to right about there for right now. And we'll get to the elbow here, and we're going to start to approach the forearm muscles. So uh, thinking about the forearm muscles, if you understand how the muscles are reacting to each other underneath the skin, then we'll be able to kind of accurately predict what the silhouette's going to look like. So uh, we'll just come in sort of like that with this outside edge. Might kind of blend that curve a little bit more into, uh, into his elbow area here something like that. And then for this inside curve, I'm going to bring that out a little bit and then swoop it back in towards his wrist, sort of like that. Now, again, I highly recommend looking at some reference for what these muscles actually look like under the skin. Um, now, this muscle is actually going to be wrapping around and down towards the wrist, uh, if you're familiar with the forearm muscles and how those work. So uh, let me just come in and taper that in even a little bit further. And now we've reached our character's hand. So uh, now hands are never easy to draw. And I can't tell you how, uh, how many times I have sat there and drawn my own hand uh, just simply by looking at it. And I would highly recommend if you've identified hands as a weakness, 
and you're interested in drawing good manga characters, you need to get good at drawing hands. So uh, I'm going to come in here and we'll just start drawing in our character's hand here. Now from this particular angle right here, uh, we're only going to see kind of the top of the hand. So we're going to see kind of the contour of maybe uh, this first knuckle on his index finger. Maybe that comes down and around. And we'll start to bring that index finger up. Now we've got a thumb here to deal with as well. So we may want to come in and sort of start to bring that in, sort of like so. And we'll kind of bring that up here towards uh, kind of this uh, area of this fleshy area between the index finger and the thumb. And we'll start to bring this together kind of like so. Now again, this is just a sketch. I'm not necessarily going for um, something super clean, and I'm trying to at this point stay relatively loose while I'm sketching this. Um, but at this angle, we're probably going to begin to see some of the other fingers here behind as well. So uh, we'll come in here and draw in a few more of those fingers. Now again, at this point, I'm kind of looking at that wrist. I feel like it might still be a little bit thick, so I might come in and thicken that up just a bit right there. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Let me come in here and give this a little more definition right in here. Again, we could spend as much time as we really want to kind of refining the hand area, but uh, I think that's actually going to work pretty well for right now. Um, let me just drag this in just a little bit further here and maybe free transform, then right click and warp. And I tell you what we'll do, we'll just kind of flatten that out just a bit here. Sort of like so. We'll hit enter and deselect and kind of flatten that out just a little bit. All right, great. So let's go ahead and continue on. Now we're going to jump back up to his armpit here. and um, I feel like maybe that bicep area needs to be a little bit wider, so I may strengthen that up some. But uh, we're pretty close to where we need to be as of right now. Now in looking here, kind of at this area right here, we're starting to approach kind of the pectoral muscle here. Um, so if we want to come in and begin to kind of think about that, we could bring sort of a line down here. And that pectoral muscle and that chest line is going to end up kind of right here about this particular line right here. So uh, if I want to come in and maybe do something like that, and kind of come back and start hitting down into this area down here. Now, depending on how detailed you want to get with your anatomy, there's probably going to be a little bit of a curve out to indicate the the rib cage there before we start to curve in too much. But uh, depends, again, like I said, how, how much detail you really want in your anatomy for the character you're drawing. So come over here just like so and start to kind of curve this out just a bit here at the hip. And let me just go ahead and drop the opacity here so we can start to kind of really see what we're looking at. So we've approached the hip and kind of this uh, this area of the thigh that we're ready for. And this curve right here should almost transition into the curve of the, of the outer thigh here. So um, let me just go ahead and rotate my canvas. We'll kind of uh, pull that around. So I need to make sure I'm drawing on the correct layer here. So I'll just step back a few times and start to bring in the lines for our leg here. Now we also want to come in and start to think about this line right here as well. And as well as thinking about bringing these down to the knee of our character. So um, now again, depending on how much definition you want in your character's legs, um, you're going to want to taper this depending on depending on that factor, a little bit differently. Um, we'll just kind of come down sort of like that. Looks like I need to probably bring this line in a little sooner. There we go. And now we're approaching our character's calf. Now, again, 
if you need to come in here and draw in shapes and start to split this up and think about where the muscles are in order to get the silhouette, by all means, take whatever steps you need to do that. Uh, but I'm going to come in here now and just start working on the calf area. So again, now we're transitioning down to our character's ankle. So we want to make sure we're uh, producing curves that reflect exactly where those muscles are while we're still kind of tapering it down, getting thinner. So we'll come in here just like so. Maybe thicken that up a little bit more up here. Kind of in that area, so. Coming down to the ankle here. Now we've approached the foot, so um, I'm going to come in here at this point and begin thinking about our character's foot. So we talked about the feet being about a quarter of an inch, or excuse me, rather a quarter of a head tall at this angle. Uh, now we need to, th again, think about the silhouette. So let's go ahead and start to draw in sort of a shape kind of like this. Now this is going to indicate the heel. And now we're not going to have a, a great deal of length here. So I'm going to come in, draw that sort of like that. And again, depending on how detailed you want to get, uh, we can end up beginning to draw individual toes. Uh, in this case, we're drawing kind of a, a, a nude version, uh, a very simplified nude version of our character. So uh, I may come in and start to fill in some toes. But, you know, again, I can't stress enough how important it is to actually look at human anatomy when you're trying to learn how to draw manga anatomy because it's all based on the same things. If um, you, you're struggling with drawing hands, study hands. Draw your own hand. If you're struggling drawing feet, do the same thing. Study some feet and begin to uh, draw those and practice those. So uh, let's come in here. You can see here I'm kind of refining out the ankle areas. And we're going to have sort of a curve like that. And uh, we're going to start to transition into the toes here. So um, if we need to, we can come in and sort of kind of think about how the toes are going to sit, uh, break it up by plane here, and just kind of work the heel area as well just a bit. This is going to come out a little bit like so. And we're going to start to have these toe shapes. Now this becomes a challenge because we're starting to see the toes roll away from our point of view. So we're going to see less and less of the toes as well as they're getting smaller as we get, uh, we work down towards that pinky toe. So um, let me come in here and start to just kind of indicate where those toes are going to be. All right, so we've got a nice rough drawing here of our character's foot. Um, and, you know, if I wanted to come back in and really refine this drawing, which I probably will in between lessons, I could come in here and just kind of start cleaning up my line work, really erasing away some of these extra scratchy lines and, and just, just sort of polishing that. But I tell you what, since we've drawn half of our character here, let me just grab my lasso tool for right now. And let's come in here and lasso him up. Make sure we've got all of the neck here as well don't necessarily need the hair. And with that selection made, let's go ahead and Alt, Control, drag a copy while holding also the Shift key. And I'll just hit F4, which is my keyboard shortcut that I have assigned to the flip horizontal action. And I'm going to go ahead and line that up with the other side here. Again, just in the effort of getting a symmetrical orthographic view for our character here. So you can see here, if I were to hide our armature, we've got most of that done, all except for this little inseam piece here. We can always come in and add that. And you can see we've now drawn the anatomy of our teenage male character. Now again, we may need to come in and clean some stuff up, like it looks like the shoulders might be a little bit too high there, and the shoulder muscles might be a little bit too pronounced, but um, 
feel free to come back in and rework this and refine this as much as you really want to. But I tell you what I'd like to do at this point is let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson because I want to begin looking at the female male teenager and I'm going to show you how we can begin to change our armature a little bit to draw that type of character.